Michael and I washed so many eggs last night uh, and put them in the fridge. We have like nine or ten dozen eggs from the hens, so I'm, I'm taking like eight boxes of them to work today. I'm just going to give them away because we just have so many. I mean, I don't want them to go to waste and, you know, I get a dozen a day as it is, so I'm going to make sure that everybody gets to enjoy them. Six dozen eggs I'm going to get rid of today. That only leaves about four or five dozen in the fridge. <laughs> Busy girls. What's that? Baby chicks. Yup. Okay, well, what we're doing now is we're gonna get uh, the stuff to make, well, a makeshift brooder. Um, we haven't got, you know, a, a setup like we want, like a wooden box or whatever. There's Michael. Um, but right now, what we're gonna use is, what we have been using is um, just a Tupperware container. Um, and, uh, you know, we hook a light up, the uh, red light, to keep them warm. Um, we'll probably wait to put that chicken um, probably later on tonight or, you know, maybe even in the morning whenever he, whenever he drives out, so. Just gonna get all the stuff together and we'll get it started. There's Mr. Fluffy Bottom. Our dog just attacked him. Not our big dog, but Macy. But he don't take no crap, so he's all right. Macy, you be good. Leave him alone. Let's check on our Silky Mamas. They're doing good. Hello. Tiger, get down. Tiger. All right. Stop. Get down. <laughs> All right. Let's go get. Let's go get the uh, shavings. Oop. Well, that's just shaking everywhere. Michael likes to ride the dolly, which I guess, which, what hey, kid wouldn't? I'm so happy. You're so happy. I'm so glad. We just have little ants. Uh-oh. Those are chickens. Um, how do you hold that? Hmm? How do you hold that? Woo! Alright, get off real quick. Michael's, Michael's our little helper. Um, again, we we use uh, these pine shavings, which has worked real well. Um, you have to change them out every couple of days because you know the the chicks will mess them up. But um, they work real well for us. So um, Michael just put some hay in there which we don't need. Yeah, Mama. What, baby? Just put something in there. Baby, I'm just mixing it up. Just mixing it around. That's all. That's good. Who's the stick in here? <coughs> That's just... So hungry! Oh, this is how they are. When I feed them at the end of the day, they just all kind of cluster up there. So... I'll go ahead and feed the little monsters. <laughs> Run, little chickies! <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Michael, come get the eggs, baby. Um, tower. What? Get the bucket. Who pulls that? Huh? Who pulls that? Hey, Mom, who made this door? Peppa. 
stuff I made at the store. Oh. Wee! I'm gonna go come in here. Huh? I will, baby. I'm gonna give him another scoop. I guess you're just gonna have to get used to whenever I have the camera that, you know, I, I just love my selfies. I, they're just so funny, and Casanova has just such a, such a personality, and there he goes. Apparently we have another hole or opening somewhere that I wasn't aware of. Uh, Macy's got in there. So we're gonna have to find that really fast. Um, she just didn't open the door? No. No, she didn't. Um, Come here, Macy. Anyways, there's, there's somewhere she's getting in, and if she can get in, then uh, other creatures can get in. So we, we have to find that real quick. Just wanted to give you guys an update on the barrel. Um, everything seems to be just going great. Everything's vibrant and green and... I mean, just working wonderfully. Some dark red strawberries on there, although they're a bit small, still growing. I'm not really concerned so much with the strawberries. I'm after tomatoes and cucumbers, so. But uh, everything looks pretty good. Um, pretty excited about that, so. Looking pretty good. If you get close, you can see on some of the peppers, if I can find one, there we go. Focus there for you. There we go. Look at that. Those are green. It's a green pe uh, bell pepper plant. There are some buds on the tomato plants. Everything's looking pretty good. Can't complain. These were a lot smaller when we put them in. If you go back to the video of the original, you'll see how much smaller these plants were. They look pretty wilted, so I say that this compost batch is doing very well. Beautiful, beautiful greenery. And uh, one of the reasons we didn't do a... I mean, we have a significant amount of room for gardens here. Um, we have a huge field over there and one over here and we typically do a large garden in the field and till it up and all that and just have a huge, um, you know, 100, 100 by 100 foot garden. But um, this year I'd had back surgery and things like that, uh, as some of you know, so kind of did this just to satisfy our garden bug and uh, planning for a good season next year. Um, I have never been much of a winter or fall planter, but I'm gonna give it a whirl this year. I know there's lots of crops to be planted and sowed and had, and uh, I've always been a spring once and done type of guy, but I'm definitely gonna try to, you know, delve into all that. I've been, I've purchased several books that came highly recommended, and I'm really excited about hopefully doing a, a fall or winter crop this year, so. Um, I really wanna also dive into some, you know, fruit trees, uh, apple, citrus, things like that. Uh, I don't have a, no a lot of knowledge on those, but there's a couple other blogs that I follow that are, have done it, and, uh, you know, again, reading is, uh, is teaching me a lot as well, so hopefully we'll uh, get some fruit trees as well. Another thing I meant to mention to you guys, uh, as we do kind of our remodel here at the home, we're trying to put up a living, screen of trees um, on the front back sides the property and all that so we've actually settled on Leyland Cypress um, I think I remember bringing this up to y'all I actually went and ordered a uh, powered auger drill bit uh, should uh, you know drilling machine it should be here any day now and I'll go ahead and order the uh, Leyland Cypress so I'm pretty excited about building a living barrier you know between just on, the, on our on the borders of our property so to speak so um, those are really quick, quick, fast growing trees. Uh, if you Google those, you'll see what I'm talking about. They grow huge, so pretty excited about that as well. Um, so I called the uh, carport 
building company today and uh, got everything scheduled and they're about six to eight weeks out so kind of waiting on that I, I didn't realize the wait was so long if I'd known that I'd have called a lot sooner but you know I was thinking I could call them and they'd be built in a week or two but apparently they're on a massive back order here so um, but looking forward to getting that installed as well Thank you. No. What are you doing? Um, you jumping? Mm -hmm. Can you go all the way to the other side? This? No, that side. Whoa. Whoa. This side. Huh? That side. Whoa. When are you going to chop up all that wood? I'm going to chop up wood for... You going to get your chainsaw and chop it up? Yeah? I want to chop with Hunter. You want to chop it up with Hunter? Uh-huh. Okay. Who chopped wood? A friend of mine chopped it. Huh? A friend of mine did. Who friend? Daryl. Daryl? Who's Daryl? Whoa, you made it. Yay! Well guys, we have one that's hatched. One out of many. Camera's having some difficulty focusing through the... He's just bee bopping around out there. And we'll leave him in here tomorrow. Um, when chicks are hatched, they've got they absorb a yolk sac and they're actually good for 24, sometimes 48, uh, 48 hours actually. Um, so basically what we're going to do, we're going to leave them in here. Um, his chirping and jumping around encourages all the other chicks to come out. Let's them know, hey, it's time to get out of there. And uh, also he needs to dry off. They come out wet and covered in yuckiness and dew and slime and all that. So being in the humidifier, will act humid uh, humidifier the incubator will actually dry him off. What? I cracked it. You cracked your egg. Mm -hmm. What are you eating? A boiled egg? Mm -hmm. What's Tiger doing? Mm -hmm. Does he want your egg? No. I think he does. Tiger, you want his egg? You better be careful. Is that your chainsaw? Mm -hmm. Careful, he's going to get your egg. No. Tiger, get down. That's a cool chainsaw. That's a pretty cool chainsaw. Uh -huh. Where's your chainsaw? My chainsaw's in the garage. Mm. Can I put mine in Daddy's got to get a chain for his chainsaw. And I thank you for reminding me. I need to go get one. And where is it? In the garage. Okay. You, hmm. you need a level? A what? Need a yellow one? A yellow one? A yellow one? A chainsaw? I have an orange chainsaw, a Husqvarna. Do you need one? No, I got one. I need a chain. What's chain? I need a blade to go on it. What's blade? Thing that cuts. So, this is my rose bush right outside the door. Um, it looks pitiful. We had a heavy rain, and afterwards, my flowers are hanging over and dead. So, um, I read up on it. I don't know a lot about botany. Um, but I read up on it and I guess you're supposed to clip, uh, the deadened part, which is going to be brown. You can see, you can see the difference in color. Wait, baby. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cut those off. Oh, more petals are falling. Oh my God. My roses. Um, ah, 
See, they're just falling off. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and clip off. See, this is green, though. I don't know. There's a little brown part. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just cut these off. And we'll see how that... i got to get some plant shearers. Trimming shears, whatever they're called. And we'll see how those go. Um, I'll probably leave those for now because, well, that one's getting brown. Let's go ahead and cut that. Oh, it just came right off. Well, I guess it was ready to come off. And that one's still holding pretty well. Um, so, we'll see how that goes.